Hello, Terry Caliendo of Dedicated Managers here again. And in my last video, I showed you a, a prototype that I was creating for a, a real-time database um, that could send information uh, to and from um, in a cloud storage database. And I'm using Firebase and, and specifically um, Firebase has two databases. Um, and I am specifically using their Firestore database. So if I go into here, this is my um, my database that I created within Firebase. And uh, if I go into the database component, um, I'm using the Firestore database, which is a NoSQL um, real-time database, which means I can just add fields on the fly. So I could add address if I wanted to and say I lived at 555 Street street uh, street street and it just adds it to the database I didn't have to create the field or tell it uh, necessarily I did tell it what type it is um, but um, I didn't have to um, do it for everybody you can see that there's two entries here and that other entry still kept its old structure even though I changed this new structure so it's a new way of looking at things um, but the cool thing about it is that it makes really makes it really easy to store objects from JavaScript. Um, if you look at the structure here, and then if we go into um, the something like um, the view end here, the JavaScript end, um, and I don't have a great example set up here, but if we look at something like this, this is an object in um, in in JavaScript. And it would be really easy for me just to basically send this object to this storage and have it stored as it was in my program. And that makes things a lot easier and that you're not playing around with jQuery um, and, um, and accessing, all your, accessing all your different fields with jQuery and having to build an object or, or submit a form and parse it on the, 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 the server side. Um, it's just, it, you're, you're basically passing objects back and forth and it makes life so much easier. Um, so I'll probably get into some code behind that as I show how um, Firebase works, but just know that um, this is the NoSQL database, um, Firebase. So in the next video, I'll, I'll get into to view and, and, um, and the front end side. So this is the back end and I'll make another video and talk about the front end of what the um, the user experiences. So this is the user experience side um, and this is the data storage side.